Cyber fraud is becoming increasingly common, and some hackers are even exploiting people's desire to bring home a pet. Here are the details. Are you planning to bring a puppy home? We're here to tell you that you should not buy one online. We say this for two reasons. Firstly, most online puppies are from puppy mills and are sold by irresponsible dog breeders. Secondly, and this reason is the focus of our story today. Puppy scams are becoming more common. Miscreants are exploiting your love for pets. In fact, there has been a significant increase in puppy scams since the COVID-19 pandemic started. According to the Better Business Bureau, in 2021, 35% of all online shopping scams reported to it were pet scams. In the United States, Google sued an alleged puppy scammer who used its services to sell fake pets. This happened after elder advocacy group AARP tipped Google about the scam last September. It all started after a South Carolina resident registered a complaint. He had sent $700 in digital gift cards to an online seller for a Basset Hound puppy that never arrived. Google is seeking monetary damages and a court order banning the accused user from Cameroon. The lawsuit says the puppy scam harmed Google's reputation and the company had to spend over $75,000 to investigate this case. Last year, another man from a country in Central Africa pleaded guilty to conspiracy to commit wire fraud in a scheme to trick American consumers into paying fee for pets that were never delivered. The victims were induced to make successive payments based on false claims about transportation issues, about the animal needing insurance and other such matters. If you must buy a pet off the internet and are engaging with a breeder or seller online, do keep these things in mind. If the seller is unwilling to send you photos and videos of the puppy or kitten other than what's advertised on their website, it is a red flag. See the pet in person before paying any money. Also, be wary if the price seems too good to be true and the seller insists on getting money up front. Ask for the company name, number and street address. See what Google search results pop up. If you can't find anything, the name and address are probably fake. Lastly, if the seller refuses to speak to you on the phone and prefers to handle communication only by emails, it's most likely a scam. Pets are not gifts or disposable or returnable items. Getting one is a lifetime commitment. If possible, adopt a stray or one from a local animal shelter. But if you must buy one, then look for a responsible breeder for whom animal well-being is a top priority.